Welcome to the Linux for Everyone summer series. Buy the merch. Visit Croatia. And have a great summer. But Windows is better than Linux and gaming. What, you little... <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Linux for Everyone, and welcome home. Welcome to my home away from home here in Premantura, Croatia. Uh, I'm standing on the shore of the Adriatic Sea. It's in a region of Croatia known as Istria, and it is one of the most beautiful places that I have ever seen in my entire life. So I feel really blessed to have this, this opportunity to be here every summer. And I don't want to hoard it. I want to share it with you guys and just and show you how amazing Croatia is. Uh, and, you know, the lighting might not be perfect and the sound might not be perfect, but it sure is a hell of a lot better than sitting in an office shooting these videos. Uh, and so this is the Linux for Everyone Summer Series 2021. And what I'd like to do is just sprinkle our conversations about Linux with some Sun and C and of course some Slayer, uh, some, I don't know, just, just whatever, this kind of stuff. Uh, so instead of like screen captures, you might see some beautiful footage of this shoreline or something or some factoids about Croatia. I don't know yet, but uh, I'm, I'm determined to have every video have some kind of nature. Okay, so let's get to the meat of this video. I recently got a question from Will and this is what Will asked me. Would you keep using Linux if Windows and Mac OS were more privacy respecting and, at least partially, open source? Without hesitation, I can say yes, I absolutely would. And I wanna give you two specific reasons for that. Number one, I love the, the sometimes overwhelming choice that we have when it comes to Linux distributions and desktop environments and window managers and themes I mean, seriously, the, the staggering level of customization that's possible is awesome. I recently got hooked on Dracula. I integrated it into my Pop! OS theme and daily driver apps like uh, VS Code and Telegram and Audacity and Standard Notes and Terminal, you name it. So now my primary desktop and my two laptops are rocking identical visuals. They're all synced up and they're all sporting Dracula across every piece of software possible. Looking at it just makes me happy. What makes me even happier though is that Linux makes my PC, which stands for what? That's right, personal computer. It makes it personal again. And we live in a world where Microsoft and Apple, they're always, they're gonna want pretty direct control over how their operating systems look, what the user experience is going to be right out of the box. It's, it's a marketing thing. It's a branding consideration. And I don't really see that ever changing. Number two, the Linux community is really something special. Yeah, yeah, I know. There are the toxic ones, right? There's the gatekeepers, the ones who act like Linux is the world's best kept secret and they want to keep it that way. But the community I know, the community I interact with, sometimes it honestly feels like a family or a cool circle of friends always lifting each other up. I would not be doing Linux content full time if that was not true. People jump out of the woodwork and they volunteer their free time just to teach me cool things. Shout out to Sky. They make sure I'm seeing the latest open source news. They're a constant source of inspiration and motivation and creativity. It feels like this worldwide team at my back helping each other kick ass in areas they're passionate about and, and, and not like some corporate machine. So if that sounds fluffy and cheesy to you, that's okay. Uh, but honestly, the Linux community is quite often the one thing that just keeps me going. Okay, I'm going to toss this question over to you now. Same question that was asked of me. If, if Microsoft and Apple were more privacy respecting, if they were even partially open source, would you still use Linux? And why? What do you adore about it? What keeps you here? That's it for this one. I'm losing light anyway, so I gotta hurry up. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. 
And I want to thank everyone who submitted their awesome riced screenshots for inclusion in this video. You guys rock, and thank you for coming through on that in, sh in uh, very, very short notice. Uh, I'll be back right here or, or down the shore a little bit. We'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, until the next video, you guys take care and take care of each other. See ya. Whoa. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> There's random kids that are running by up here and uh, they just keep stopping and staring like, I have never seen this kind of display in my entire life. And I don't really see that ever changing. And the waves are getting really loud. <laughs> um, okay.